What is up my fellow artists? It's your boy, me, and today we're gonna be talking about creativity's worst enemy, art book. We've all been there, standing at a blank canvas, wondering what the heck we're supposed to draw next, and then our brain just, out of nowhere, decides to take a vacation. But fear not, I am here to fix that for you. Or at least give you some advice on how you can prevent this in the future. First of all, take a break. I know it sounds like I'm telling you to just give up on your art, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you should take a break and relax your brain a little bit. Recharge your creative fuel. You don't have an unlimited amount of creativity every day. You have a certain amount and if you go over that, you're gonna burn out. So preferably, I would say go out, touch some grass, maybe go for a walk or go for a run. Doesn't really matter. You can of course watch some TV shows that inspires you. That can sometimes affect your creativity too. So you do whatever tickles your pickle, right? Just don't forget to come back to your art. My next tip is to just change things up a little bit. Maybe change art style. Oh. Maybe change your environment. Maybe change your medium. Doesn't really matter what you change, but if you change something, it's like resetting your brain. Maybe you just move to another room in your apartment. Another thing you can do is to collaborate with like-minded artists. You can brainstorm or work on projects together and have a good time, basically. <laughs> and together it's easier to be inspired to do more or to come up with new ideas. You can use Discord servers or other type of forums I mainly use Discord servers, so that's what I know about. But there are probably many other ways you can do this. Plus, it's more fun to create with friends, right? Unless you're an introvert, like me, then it's hard to meet new people, but can get over that. I mean, I did, so... Alright, on to the next tip. Set smaller goals for yourself. It's easy to feel overwhelmed if you set those huge, massive goals to create a masterpiece every time you pick up a brush or a pencil. Set achievable goals for yourself, like finishing a little doodle or a sketch. Like, dude, you're, you're not Leonardo da Vinci, okay? Now lastly, and as some of you may have recalled from my last video, don't be too hard on yourself. Art is a long process, and not every piece you create is gonna be a masterpiece. You're allowed to make mistakes here and there. As long as you learn from those mistakes, there's nothing wrong with making them. I mean, don't take yourself too seriously. Art is meant to be fun, right? So what's the point if you're not enjoying it? Even if your piece doesn't turn out the way you imagined, you know? It's still art, baby. So I would say that's a win. So there you have it, folks. There are some ways that you can crush your art block. Hopefully these tips helped at least a little bit. I know they have helped me in the past a lot, so maybe they will help you too. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, you know, subscribe and do all that sort of stuff. And if you have any future video ideas or recommendations or suggestions, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll look into it. If you want to see maybe some TikTok reactions, roasting art or whatever it is, leave it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now get back to creating. Bye.